For the first time, we're seeing inside BNA as police rush to stop a shooter who's opened fire in the airport. WSMB4 investigates obtained this video and internal documents that show the whole thing unfolding. Chief investigative reporter Jeremy Finley took his findings to a top security airport expert and asked, what does this say about security at the airport? It's April 17th, 2022, and airport police are on the run. Just gotta go. Near the North baggage claim at BNA, a shooter has opened fire. Where's she at? Airport police come from several directions. The internal incident report shows there's a lot of people in the area. Officers advance, moving around a wall. Someone is lying on the floor. Put your hands out in front of you right now. That person is Sydney Thomas. Listen to what she says as officers approach. Put your hands out in front of you right now. Turns out Thomas is on the phone with her mother and is relaying what she's done. I'm shot myself in the leg. I want to get you some help, all right? She said she saw, shot herself in the leg and she wanted us to shoot her and that she wanted to just die. According to the incident reports, Thomas had three other rounds in the magazine of the firearm, along with another magazine and a folding knife. We do have one up in the ceiling. Nearby, police find another bullet in the ceiling. The report indicating Thomas intended to shoot herself and missed all of this happening with people nearby. What does this tell us about the security at our own airport? What it really speaks to is it's a public area. Jeffrey Price is a professor of aviation and aerospace science and an expert on airport security. Public areas are the hardest to defend because they're open to the public. Anybody can go in there. Price says after shootings inside airports like this one, there is routinely discussion about moving security checks to the front entrance. But all you've done is relocate the public area. And in some cases, you've relocated them to a place that's even more dangerous. That place is where cars drop off and pick up people. He says the reality, airports are heavily staffed in security that can quickly reach a shooter. And as for what you should do if this ever happens while you're in an airport? The, the standard run, hide, fight sort of response is, is something everybody should know. Jeremy Finley, WSMB4 Investigates. A spokeswoman for the airport did send a statement praising the response of the officers and the volunteer who helped de-escalate the shooter. Thomas was taken to the hospital. She later entered a plea deal for reckless endangerment with a weapon. Her attorney did not return our request for an interview.